Hello everyone, this is V and we are back for another Spotlight video, this time featuring Germany. Germany, a very uh, young nation in the late 19th century. But of course the German people have been, uh, well, a very important part of Europe throughout history. Uh, their leader is Bismarck, and uh, let's start up a game. Germany has no uh, start bias, so they can spawn anywhere, and we will see that they are pretty much the same regardless of map type. Unfortunately, this map in particular, well, it's definitely not great. It will settle in place and uh, yeah it's apparently an island map that won't be very good for uh, the german people unfortunately we can start with a monument here and click on pottery uh, so let's get into the abilities Germany has a chance to convert barbarians by killing them. It only works if you clear out a camp. And, uh, well, it's a small bonus. The chance of it happening is pretty high, but unless you have a lot of barb spawns, it usually doesn't amount to a particular lot. So well, if you are lucky or manipulate the AI, you can get, well, two or three free units from this. Unfortunately, it's not 100% chance. That would make it a lot better. I have actually had uh, three to four fails in a row with this, and that is just a shame. If it was a certainty, then Germany would jump up in, uh, in ranks quite a bit. The uh, reduced cost for land units is almost completely irrelevant. It's okay in the early game, but realistically it's not going to amount to saving you more than 2 to 3 gold per turn then. In the late game, land units are not exactly what we are using. So that part of the bonus is pretty bad. <coughs> Let's inspect the tech tree. So the Germans have the Panzers right here. It's an upgrade of the tank. It's a uh, well, it's a lot stronger than a tank. It has an extra point of movement. But unfortunately, as you very well know, <coughs> the tank is not exactly uh, a unit that we use a lot. Its only use is high mobility, but, well, the difference between 4 move and 6 move at that stage not that important. Um, it's still good. It's definitely better than a normal tank, but since you use so few of them, and since the reason why you use them is just for taking cities or, or blocking the enemy, the extra 10 combat strength <coughs> is just, well, it's not good enough to uh, put Germany over the top, especially since it's only a utility unit that has it. Uh, waging a tank war is a good way to lose the game, I think, because if you make six bombers versus six tanks, then I have a pretty good idea of who will be losing that fight. And it's not going to be the bombers. However, it is actually possible to do surprise assaults with the tanks. 
unfortunately, yeah, they can move forward and backwards, but they also are pretty vulnerable. So uh, this is mostly, I think, something that's very good in PvP, though I have no experience with it, but it seems to me that there's the balance is much better between uh, war planes and uh, tanks. The fact that it costs oil is a problem because oil is usually not something you have excess amounts of. The Hansa then. The Hansa replaces the bank. Um, it adds plus five percent production for each trade route, so that's okay. It has to be a trade route with a city state. <coughs> My apologies. So yeah, it adds a little bit of production. It's actually the only thing that Germany has going for it. So, uh, yeah, plus 15% if you do these four trade routes, which kind of makes sense. Um, it can be good to pump your production in your capital by quite a lot, which is pretty much the only thing it's really good for. So if you have a strong capital with uh, many trade routes, then the hands makes it even stronger. And this is really the building that makes Germany more or less okay. It's one of the things that has been revised, I think, recently or relatively recently. Unfortunately, I have never played Germany, so I can't really tell you. But it seems to me that this is quite strong, especially if you go for pure production. So if you have an order uh, ideology, then this will get even better as you can get hills that give you 5 production, which then becomes a plus 15 or 30 percent or something. It's pretty good. Personally, I would rate Germany as a 3 out of 10 because, well, it doesn't have anything going for it early game, it has no start bias to exploit. The barbarian thing can be good, but as you see on this map it will be completely useless. So if you're going for an early rush it might be okay, but it also might be a complete waste. So there is nothing here to actually rely on. The production bonus is good, but it comes at a point in the game where well, it's going to be less impressive than uh, than it should be. Although it, it's still the strongest part of Germany, I think. And the Panzers, as we said, are, well, not significantly better than a tank. So a 3 out of 10 seems like a good score to me. See you next time.